Hello, my name is Gail Navarro and my topic for this project is does the color of light affect plant growth? For my hypothesis, I think that yellow cellophane will promote plant growth because its color spectrum is similar to that of sunlight. You will need pieces of wood, nails, a hammer, and different colored cellophane paper, which will be used to alter the light the plants will be receiving. The independent variable will be the different colored cellophane paper and the control variable will be the plant that will be receiving the clear cellophane. You will also need scissors, a stapler, same sized uh, potting containers, potting soil, seeds, and a ruler. This will be used to measure the growth of the plant, which is the dependent variable, the growth of the plants. For procedures, you will need to gather the materials needed to start the miniature greenhouse, which would be the hammer, the nails, and the wood pieces. After being nailed and assembled, they should look something like this. After the frame for the greenhouses have been created, you want to gather the rest of the materials so we can begin covering them. What I am doing here is stapling the different colored cellophane paper to a frame of the greenhouses. Since I already had them pre-cut, I am just stapling them each there. And I repeat this same process with each frame. After the greenhouses have been covered with their cellophane paper, um, you will fill each potting container with the same amount of soil for each one. Next, you will plant each seed as instructed in the package. After the seeds have been planted, you want to water each pot. You also want to make sure that you water each pot daily as you're doing your observations. Now you want to place a pot under each greenhouse, making sure that they are all placed where they will get the same amount of sunlight. After setting up the greenhouses in a proper place, you want to do daily observations about the plant growth. Observations will be noted in a data table, measuring the plant growth by centimeters and making sure that you are recording uh, the daily progress. On day three, I had to go back and um, secure the cellophane paper because it was really windy which is one of the problems that I noticed as I was doing this project. Each day I will record the growth of the plants and I will also videotape the growth to have a visual representation.
The wind、uh, continued to be a problem in the process of the, the project because it was really windy and the, the cellophane paper was really fragile. So I had to go in and make sure I secured, secured it every day. The days continued to be very windy, and there was also a lot of rain, so the cellophane paper would tear down and be blown away. So I had to make sure that I fixed it every day. By the end of the first week,、uh, there was significant plant growth for each greenhouse, and I started to get worried that the wind and the The, the rain that affect, affected the plant growth because the cellophane paper would not be would be blown away and they would not be receiving the colored light that they were needed to be getting. Through each day, make sure that each plant is getting watered. At this point, it seemed that each plant had the same amount of、uh, rate, and the growth wasn't being affected by the cellophane paper and the light that they were receiving. But this can also be because of the, the rain and the wind that blew away the cellophane paper and caused it to not be receiving the light that they were supposed to. Here I am doing my final observations and measuring the final growth of my plants.
As you can see in my data table, the light did not affect plant growth. So my hypothesis was proven wrong. To conclude this experiment, I couldn't get accurate results due to the various factors of wind and rain. But my results showed that the color of light does not affect plant growth.